Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Ruthie Walker. I'm an assistant professor of psychology at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. As a first gen st uh, student myself, what I would really like to do is talk to you about some of those hidden rules or expectations that professors have for how you should appropriately communicate with them. So there are tons of hidden rules in academia. And if you're first generation, or if you haven't had someone who shared these rules with you, then you might be unsure about how to go about talking with your professors. Let's talk about the first rule. So what should you call them? Do you call them doctor? Do you call them professor? Do you address them as Mr. or Miss or Mrs. or Mix? So let's talk about it. So they should tell you how to address them and they should do that in a variety of ways, but definitely on their syllabus. So you can see on this one that's on the screen, we can see here instructor, Dr. Terry Houston. So they are telling you they want you to call them doctor by using that language. When you meet with professors the first day of class, they might change that. They might say, it's okay if you call me Terry or my name is Dr. Houston. Happy to be here to teach this class to you. So if you forget or, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on that first day of class, you can always go back to the syllabus. That's a great place. If you are unsure, however, then you can always take these next steps and take this next piece of advice. So if you don't have the syllabus or you're unsure, some other things to do is if they have, um, abbreviations after their name that are PhD, EdD, PsyD, or MD, you're going to call them or default to doctor or professor. So you could say, excuse me, Dr. Blank, or excuse me, Professor X. If your instructor has a master's level degree or a Juris Doctorate, so MS, MA, MSW, JD, MFA, or any of those ones, then it'd be really appropriate to address them as either professor or to use an honorific of their choice. So either Ms. or Mr. or Mix, whatever it is that they tell you they prefer. If you don't know your instructor's degree or preferred form of address, calling them professor is a respectful default form of address. So what are the best ways to communicate with your professors if you have questions or concerns? If it's a question over content being covered in class, ask right then and there. You should definitely raise your hand and ask them. If it's a question about your performance in the class or something unrelated to the class that is better suited to stopping by during their office hours, sending an email, or if it's relatively quick, you can potentially ask them after class. Before reaching out to your professor with questions about the class, ask yourself, can I find the answer to this question in the syllabus? Or can I find the answer to this question on the course LMS? And by LMS, I mean things like Blackboard or Springboard or other forms where professors will put their course and all their materials up for you. So when you email your professor, just a couple tips. So include a salutation, hi, Professor X, include a signature, sincerely, your first and your last name. You may also wanna include your student ID so they know exactly who you are. Tell them what class you're taking with them as well as what section of that class you're taking with them. Use and double check that you're using appropriate punctuation and spelling and always, always, always be respectful. So what if you're upset about a grade? So the first thing you wanna do is review that assignment or exam carefully to try to understand why you received the grade that you did. Other things, when you reach out to email them to set up a time maybe to stop by their office hours, to ask questions about it, be respectful and professional in your communication. You always want to like request a meeting during the professor's office hours or via email to discuss any concerns that you might have. These conversations are best suited to a one-on-one -on -one where you can have privacy and also get detailed feedback and ask them questions like, how can I improve my performance on the next assignment? So you also want to approach the conversation with an open mind and willingness to understand that professor's um, perspective. So use this as an opportunity for growth and a learning opportunity. Ask them the questions so it can help you to be more successful in their class in the future as well as in future classes with other professors. 
So also prepare specific questions um, or concerns about grading for discussion. So if it was a particular portion of your grade that you had a concern about, prepare that question. Can you explain to me um, what was happening, what, what I did wrong, or what I could have done better to improve my performance in this section? Or can you explain um, how the grading rubric was operating here? I, I don't, I'm not sure that I quite understand. So ask them to walk you through it. Make sure you're not confrontational or placing blame on the professor. This will help get you a much better result when you're talking like this. So other things that will help you with communicating with your professors is getting to know them. So there are a variety of ways you can do this. One of the easiest ways is just to participate in class. So attending class, asking questions, contributing to discussion, that's one of the best ways that they can get to know you. Other ways is to visit professors during their office hours or um, stopping to ask them questions about their research or advice for grad school or career development. So some other ways that you can get to know them, attending office hours, um, joining relevant clubs or organizations where you might interact with faculty on a regular basis, seeking opportunities as either like a research assistant or um, a teaching assistant, attending departmental events or seminars or workshops, any of those types of things where you can get some good professional networking and interactions with your professor on a less formal setting than in the classroom are great opportunities. So you can also demonstrate your professionalism by coming to class prepared, completing any assigned readings and being ready to engage in the class. Other helpful tips for just demonstrating your professionalism include communicating with professors about missed or late work, attending class virtually or in person as expected, being honest, seeking help or tutoring, or um, avoiding the temptation of cheating or plagiarism. What other suggestions do you have for improving the way that you communicate with your professors? Please let me know. Leave some comments and suggestions in the comments. Let me know what I missed. So if you liked it or found this helpful at all, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'd love to answer any questions that you might have.